Okay, so our next question that we're looking at uh, is write a times a to the power of negative 3, uh, all in brackets to the power of negative 2 over 3 in its simplest form. So we have eight a to the negative three in brackets to the negative two over three. Okay. So um, kind of just to start off, we can kind of just taking a look at this, we can kind of see um, that the threes here uh, can cancel out. We just have to put it in a proper format where that's uh, a little simpler for us. So it goes into a more simplified form. So uh, seeing the eight in the, in the beginning, we know that um, eight is also equivalent. So I'll write this to the side. Eight is also going two to the power of three. So two times two is four times two is eight. So we can start with that right away. So we know two cubed and then since a is to the negative 3, we can put that on the bottom of the equation. So a to the cubed is all to the power of negative 2 over 3. So this is the first step. Uh, there's uh, multiple ways to start off, but this is a nice step so you can kind of um, simplify the a as you um, uh, simplify the equation. So taking um, the cube from both the 2 and the a and moving it to the outside, uh, we know that 2 over a to the power of 3 times negative 2 over 3. So right away we're taking out the 3 because both of them are cubed. We can cancel out the 2 cubed um, components. We can cancel out the 3s. And we're left with 2 over a to the negative two. So the knowing that we have a negative exponent, the negative exponent will flip our fraction here. So a over two is the uh, a over two squared is what we get. And then we can just take the squared and um, simplify the equation. So we get a squared. And then we know 2 squared is 4. And that's our final solution. So looking at the solution here, um, a similar process is, is followed. And the final solution is a squared or 4. So solution is correct. Thank you.